Uh, again, thank you so much for having me. Today, I want to talk to you about how OutSystems and Netlink have helped to build a multi-tenant customer self-service banking solution um, using OutSystems to quickly build a custom solution in the banking industry that scales. So as Ron mentioned, I am the Chief Technology Architect at Netlink. And I'm going to really quickly tell you about who is Netlink, what is low code, what is OutSystems, uh, this particular case study that I want to review that I feel might be appealing to you, uh, and some additional topics if you want to learn more. So first, who is Netlink? We are a uh, global delivery company. We do uh, sales training delivery for OutSystems as well as other technologies. We've got offices. Uh, we're based out of Michigan uh, in the U.S. We also have offices in India and Dubai. And we are three divisions. So we have digital solutions where we focus on development, quality assurance, digital transformation, infrastructure, things like that. We also have a uh, BPO office focused on uh, cloud-based BI, um, multi-channel customer inter interaction and so on. And we have a uh, digital insights group with our Luminor product based on ML, uh, AI, deep learning, data visualization, and so on. So that's just really quickly who we are. But what I'm here to talk to you about today is OutSystems and how we've been able to leverage it with some of our customers. So OutSystems is a low-code technology. And if you're familiar with development, you know, it can take a very long time to write things, you know, especially all these lines of code. You got to learn all these different languages and so on. OutSystems gives you a way to build an enterprise grade application very quickly in a visual manner. And it's still coding, don't get me wrong, but it's low code in this visual manner. It's not high code with C++, C Sharp, et cetera. And it's not a no code solution that depends on uh, configuration and things where you're really kind of limited to what that no code platform might be already offering you. So OutSystems, is a visual full stack development tool. It is a general purpose development tool, which means for web and mobile and uh, back office, you can build anything that you want. It's not gonna restrict you, like I said, to some configurator or something like that, but it's gonna allow you to build your applications very quickly. You can deploy to responsive web apps, mobile apps, uh, or progressive web apps, which can run uh, like a native mobile app, though through your browser. Um, and it's also going to manage the full life, life cycle of your application development. So you're not only just building your apps, but you can deploy your apps in them, manage your applications in different environments, monitor your applications, uh, get metrics, and so on. And so when I say full stack, I'm talking user interface, backend logic, uh, business processes and workflow, and data. I've already mentioned that you know, it's, it targets web and mobile, but it also gives you the ability to both consume and expose APIs through REST and SOAP services. And you can also uh, send out interactions through you know, chatbots, voice, SMS, email, and so on. Uh, it integrates with tons of things. There's over 3,500 open source components for out systems in something called the Forge. I like to call it GitHub for out systems. Uh, so there you'll find you know, AWS S3 connector or something that connects to Dynatrace or all sorts of things. And as I mentioned, it's gonna manage your full life cycle with continuous integration, continuous development, uh, giving you that full DevOps capability from dev all the way through production. And what I really wanna to talk to you about is this multi-tenant customer self-service banking solution. So there's a multinational SaaS company in the banking industry that had very complex, hard to change web and mobile applications. They were based out of South America and uh, were selling to many banking companies in, in multiple countries, uh, both in South America, North America, so on. Their uh, latest version of their user interface was a two-year investment in .NET and Angular using API and Salesforce backends, but it still had 
a lot of problems. It wasn't customizable. When they rolled it out to new banks, it was very hard for them to make it look the way that that bank wanted and so on. So they decided to start looking into other technology options. They needed something that could integrate with their current backend, but also provide a great user experience in the way that they wanted. And so they selected out systems. Uh, and what they ultimately found was it allowed them to uh, build a highly reusable decoupled front end and provide a, a much greater uh, customer user experience. As you can see here from this, uh, this Gartner uh, Magic Quadrant, OutSystems is a uh, visionary and leader within the low-code uh, space. I believe this is specifically the multi-experience platform uh, diagram. So how did Netlink help? Well, being a sales delivery and training partner, we came in and we assisted this customer by taking a look at what their requirements were, what their challenges were, and we were able to build them a completely new front end that used their existing back end and gave them all of that customizability that they needed to roll out to their multiple tenants. And NetLink, we have a software factory as a service model allowing you to basically buy capacity, which gave them the ability to scale up and down development as they moved through their project and then projects later on uh, and, and give them a, an agility boost that they just didn't have in the past. And now how OutSystems itself helps the tool. OutSystems UI is the built-in UI framework. It has uh, tons of, it has over 80 templates of uh, where OutSystems went and analyzed best practices for web and mobile to really give you a very quick starting point. You're not locked into any of those templates, but you can very quickly come up with a great user experience that already is pixel perfect and is responsive and everything else uh, for web, Android, and iOS. So we were able to use that combined with this customer's styling guides and very quickly build something that both looked great and also looked like one of their applications. Multi-tenancy is available out of the box. So uh, that made it very easy for us to build this in the way that they wanted to deploy up to multiple banks. And of course, OutSystems ability to integrate with any REST and SOAP web service out of the box made integrating with their existing backend very easy. From a productivity standpoint, OutSystems is extremely fast. Um, some of these case studies that I'll, I'll show later show you know, a 70 to 75% increase in productivity compared to high code. In this case, uh, we were able to deliver what uh, this customer wanted on the OutSystems platform in four months and replaced their, uh, their existing .NET and Angular solution that they've worked on for two years and we did that while also being able to provide uh, those capabilities to solve those challenges they had around uh, white labeling and things like that. Uh, and, and it's all because of how OutSystems works. We wouldn't have been able to do it so quickly if it weren't for the OutSystems platform. And just a couple of other things that really helped us along with, uh, with us in that journey. <laughs> Lifetime is the DevOps tool that I've referred to uh, earlier, just not by name, uh, within App Systems for monitoring and migrating your applications. Uh, it really makes your releases very easy. So as you want to move between dev to QA or QA to production or so on, you want to be confident that your release is going to have everything it needs. And App Systems does an impact analysis when you want to deploy between environments, and it will let you know, hey, this version of this web service over here is old. And so you need to include that in your release plan uh, in order to move forward. Uh, and you can, of course, choose to ignore that and deploy with errors. But, uh, but ultimately, it makes it very easy to have a deployment plan that's going to work very quickly uh, with zero downtime and give you that confidence that you need that it's going to include all of your dependencies and everything else. The other thing that was extremely helpful through this was architecture dashboard. 
This is a tool that is included with Out Systems, and it does your code quality assessments, security assessments, uh, performance assessments, it looks for maintainability issues. And so for this particular uh, customer building a banking software, obviously something like this was crucial in making sure that they weren't making any mistakes that would uh, leave a vulnerability, like leave them open to SQL injection attacks or, or some other things. And also from a learning curve standpoint, you know, Traditional high code, you might have to learn C sharp, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, and so on, just to make a simple application. And without systems, they were able to take their development team very quickly, bring them onto the out systems platform without having to learn all these extra things. And they were able to be very quickly be productive within a month or two. And even though their existing developers were quite skeptical of a low code technology as, as many high code developers are, you know, they're used to writing their code. They don't want to be in an environment where they're not doing that. Uh, the, the majority of their developers uh, were able to accept that building low code, uh, building with low code is much more efficient and gave them the opportunity to really focus on developing the things that they cared about mm -hmm. instead of just, uh, you know, spending a ton of time trying to make pixels be in the right place and things like that. And some case studies that you might be interested in. Uh, Toto Uno uh, accelerated their omni-channel banking implementation. This was actually a, a Netlink customer with a four month turnaround. Um, Lender was able to build five applications in under 12 months with just two developers. They're in the uh, uh, money lending space for small businesses. Uh, they built five apps in under a year. Their first two apps went to production in less than three months, and they were able to speed up development 70% uh, faster compared to their C-sharp uh, teams. And FICO is also an app systems customer. Um, their origination manager was rebuilt from the ground up in half the time that it took uh, to build their previous version. Oh, and um, that's outsystems.com slash case hyphen studies if you're curious to learn more. Um, really quick, I know we're, we're running out of time here. If you're interested, you can actually set up your own personal environment for free, runs in the App Systems Cloud, and you can explore and, and really see what the platform is about and build your own applications there. And it has a great community uh, with learning available, uh, free online training, forums, knowledge base, the open source uh, Forge community I told you about and so on. So I want to thank you so much, uh, Ron. I see there's a question in chat. Do I have a moment to answer it? Absolutely. All right. The question says, can out systems code everything from Windows SMB to SFTP, TCP custom sockets, HTTP and HTTPS, to date formatting and field or array manipulation and output? So um, I'm going to say almost yes to everything, right? So or, um, meaning almost all of those things, yes. but. Uh, t custom sockets it does not do. So uh, Windows SMB and SFTP, there are open source for uh, Forge components you can take a look at. HTTP and HTTPS are the target protocol. So your web applications and mobile and everything is gonna automatically go through those, uh, specifically HTTPS. Date formatting, data manipulation, all sorts of other things, definitely part of it out of the box and where there isn't anything, there's something in the Forge. And it also has the ability to interact with, uh, you can pull in any custom .NET assembly or write your own to pull in. Uh, so if you've got an existing SDK or something that you need, it can just consume that and pull it into its low code format. Um, custom TCP socket programming, it does not do. Um, but if you wanna learn more, feel free, Tony, to uh, reach out to me anytime. Craig St. Jean, I'm on LinkedIn. Um, and uh, I'd love to tell you more.